Hi, I'm Sammy, and I'm one of the mentor for Form, <laughs> and I'm editing a film right now for Peanut Butter Foundation. Um, I'm coming up with uh, new ways of editing, so I just want to share with y'all, to just in case you know something that kind of falls into the realm of what you're thinking, it might open some new doors. Uh, so basically, um, I'd like to show you how you can use music uh, to drive the visuals. So I have this track from Jake that we're working on the score of the film. Uh, okay, so this track have, has about like 12 layers in the audio, creating logic. Okay, so and what we did was we explored different stern of the track. So now, and then it sounds like something like, um, like this. So that's just the bass. A lot of empty spot. Okay, so just the bass, okay? And here's just the glitch part. So you have a Okay, so that's just the trumpet. So lots of empty spot, right? In, in between tracks. Okay, so here's the fun part. We put in Zadora, and I am I just wrote this patch. So then each track, right, individually plays, and these music tracks then will be sending values to uh, each channels, and each channel is a video player. So I'll just show you a very quick example of how uh, this first layer of video, uh, just to show you, is this. So, and that's just one layer of video track, okay? And then if I turn on the bass, which is the track one, it's going to drive this video when, when there's sound, yeah? So if that's making sense, then basically what I did is I use four of these tracks and I select the visuals I want on each track. And then I ask, I'm going to play back the track in sync after. So that's track two. And I'll show you track three. Just standard white shot. And track four. It's a standard white shot, but with the process, like black and white with the contour. Okay. Now let's see. All in action. So <laughs> You can see that once you set up the work itself, you know, you don't have to edit anymore. You just, you just put it on and then you watch and then you adjust the footage that you like to prepare on each track, you know, and then maybe you don't fix this on your music part, um, but we're only using four music tracks right now, right? Music Stern, um, and we have about 12, 12 of them. And once I will record this and put it in my editing software, and then just, then you can start rearranging things again but it helps you to uh, get rid of the bulk part of the work. It's like trying to find, oh, is this the point I want? Is this the point I want? You know, when you edit, it's sometimes it's not super intuitive. And this one, the music then drives the, the video. Yeah, I just want to show you that uh, way of editing. <laughs>